All right, guys, so welcome back to another episode. We are out here in the middle of town with Dan. Dan's over there. Uh, we're trying to get out here for blackfish and sea bass. Uh, water temps definitely dropped. I'm reading like 56. So, it's good, it's a good sign. I think these blackfish are gonna really start turning on. We're gonna try shallow. And then we'll move, you know, deeper. Uh, we got a ton of green crabs. I'll try to anchor lock. And yeah, we might have to move around a little bit to find these fish though. The spot, the boulders aren't really super tightly packed, but there should be some. All right, let's get into them. Looking for a big one. Rinse the crabs a little bit. Oh, we got so many crabs. Let's start with some medium sized ones. Alright. Take that shell off. I got my slightly heavier setup today. I am expecting to. Possibly find some bigger fish, so this is not the western sound anymore. Wow, I'm getting taps already. That's crazy. Current's already going out. It's gonna be a pretty serious current today, I think. Fish on. That's a big porgy. Keep porgies that size. That's a good porgy. So we're only 17 feet. Just waiting out the little taps. Waiting for the bigger pull. It's a lot of little fish. Let's check the bait. Pretty much cleaned out. A sharper tap. Big enough. That's a good sign though. Sometimes these these types of pieces require you, you to build it up more. Because there's a lot of surrounding rocks. And you need to you need to cull them out from different areas. It's not like a stacked rock pile where they could be hiding. They you know they're out here foraging. Ugh. Call these like the foraging grounds. Slightly bigger piece. Leave the, leave the shell on. It's starting to mark some fish down there too, which is good. Lots of porgy bites, I can tell. There's something bigger. I don't know if it's a porgy or a blackfish. It's a blackfish. Yeah, it's a good blackfish. Isn't that crazy though? They're just getting porgies. And then all of a sudden, this guy just came through. <laughs> Look at those teeth. He's gonna be like 18, maybe? Yeah, 
Yep, 18 on the dunny. On the money. Keep him, he's a nice male. There, cool fish. White spot. The males have like a whiter chin, a grayer belly. They have dots sometimes, not all the time. That's a jig, got him perfect. That wasn't a very typical bite where they swim away with it. So that bite, it just felt a little more aggressive, right? I was getting porgies, porgies, and it felt a little joot, joot, joot. And then it just kind of, nothing else was happening. But I go to like lift a little bit and I can feel pressure. The jig is in his mouth, he's just sitting there with it. So that's the thing, sometimes if you just feel any bit of pressure as you go to lift a tiny bit, that the fish can have it. So it's good too to like, just check, give it a slow lift sometimes. Uh, it is a constant battle with the camera lenses. Constant battle. I'm gonna have to have my jig size soon. I can't believe how fast this current got. How goes it over here? I got, I got one. How big? 18? Hell yeah. Yeah. No, it's it's very like porgy bites. A lot of porgy bites. Yeah. I was getting a couple porgies. I got one big porgy, and then yeah, I got the big porgy too. That's all I got so far. I think maybe we should go deeper. Yeah. Because this spot is like the blackfish come and go. They don't they don't hang out here. They like swim through here. Yeah. I got that porgy. I was getting some decent bites, and I threw the anchor down. And that was just small stuff, but I did swing a little bit. Too, right? Yeah, it already went. It's starting to uh, come in now. All right. I think this is a one ounce. Oof. It might have felt like a blackfish. All right. Ooh, that might be the rock. So we got to be careful. Try a whole crab with the shell off, just because I don't know if they're like in frenzy mode still yet. Oh, it's a good bite. Blackfish. Oh, wrong way, buddy. He wants a crab before he goes. Wow. That's crazy. That's that. No, I sometimes just feel like if you cut the crab in half. And you thread it on twice. You kind of get more crab around the hook. Hopefully get some sea bass later when we'll get to the deeper spot. I love sea bass. Sea bass. Happened again. Yeah, there's a lot of sea bass here. So after this, we uh, pretty much left the area, but I did drop the underwater camera down just to kind of see what was going on. Uh, I tried two different spots. So this is the second spot. And you see just, you know, mostly small fish, a lot of sea bass, a lot of porgies, a few blackfish, but not many. 
and the ones that you'll see here are small uh, but like I was mentioning up top I think these types of areas that have boulders a little bit more spread out uh, require more time they either require more time to you know sort of attract fish from nearby areas or you just kind of have to hit the tide correctly um, in the time that the fish are down there you know foraging because they're not hiding in these spots you know they're not this is not really their home so you kind of have to find the fish build a bite and hope that some bigger ones that were in some distant areas eventually make their way to where you're setting up and you know attracting life Uh, not great. The blackfish like aren't thick right here. So I don't think it's worth wasting too much time. Yeah, I'm just getting lots of little pads. Nothing picking it up. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to use my conventional, I think, out there. Uh, with crab. I'm going to use heavy gear and just like hold the bottom with crab. Just let me know the moment you want to tie up. Alright, so we got like a six ounce. Shoot, did I come off the spot? I don't know why it keep it keeps coming off the lock. Yeah, yeah that's not ideal. We got one fish, Dan's on too. Feels like a sea bass. Oh, that looks like a keeper. That's not a keeper. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little better. It's either a big sea bass or a small blackfish. It is a nice sea bass. Uh, 16. Oh, small blackfish. All right, that's a good sign. It's oh, a big fish. That's a good fish. This is a good one. Yeah. Oh, definitely a blackfish. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, that's a keeper. Yeah, swallowed it, dude. I didn't even know he was hooked. Yeah, he's almost 19. 18 and a half. 
You want to tie up and try to get blackfish? Is it going to throw you off? No. Here. Where do you want me to go? I think you should because... I mean, this... I'm happy to do it. It's, uh... oh, dang. He had it good. No, nah, it was 16. Are you getting nibbles or no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It just the current has to be like nothing. Dan's on. That's that's a nice one. That's a good fish, dude. <laughs> oh, dude, that's a good fish. <laughs> Is it? Oh, it's a big black fish. Oh my god, dude, that's a big one. <laughs> They're feeding right now. What am I looking at? We gotta really catch them now because I think they're feeding the big ones. It's that big boy feeding window. It's a big boy. Another male too, they're all males. It's crazy. Beauty. That gold on him too. Definitely a different experience when you're fishing the jig in the shallows, that's for sure. Yeah. Deep water black fishing is a totally different animal. Totally different. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I got a tiny sea bass. Or a tiny blackfish. 18 and a half, okay. He looked really big, like right at your boat. I don't know why, but like <laughs> the angle, right at when it, you were landing it, it was crazy. These fish are different than like the blue goats. There's such variety in like the, the shape and so true. All that. Come on. How was that bite that for that guy? Like I felt some tap for that. Yeah. Yeah, no, they don't. They don't do that. Here, I feel like they take their time. They inspect it. They're like, they'll nibble, nibble. No, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Can you see it? Oh my god. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> Holy cow, dude. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's easy 18. No, that's another male. Or is it? No, that's a female. Yeah, that's a female. Yeah, it's almost 18. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'll let it, yeah, I might let it go then. He's hooked good. It's a female. I'm gonna let it go. If I got that fish right now, the only one I keep it. But you got the day is young. Yeah, the day is young. I it's all right. Even if I don't catch my third, I think I'm still okay, kind of thing. So let the females go for now. Keep this spot productive. Go make more. How are you doing on that fish? Bite is on. 
Oh, <laughs> oh! I had a feeling you're, you. If you need heavier leader, let me know. You need. You need. Dude, that was a good fish. Had a good bite. And he's on. <laughs> This, we just hit the feeding window. This is a heavy fish. I don't know what this is. It feels very heavy. Dude. The fish just took back like 20, 25 feet of line. This is a big fish, dude. Oh my god. Dude. Oh, that's a big one. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. I'm going to release this one too. This is awesome. I really hope I can get the... Dude, please don't tell me you swallowed it too much, girl. Dang. Wow. What a beautiful fish. So awesome. Try to get the hook out a little bit, but I'm not gonna mess with it too much. I'm sorry, girl. I wasn't paying attention. <sighs> yeah, these fish are on. Dan's on a good one. <laughs> you can't budge it. Can't budge him. <laughs> right? <laughs> you know what, I'm just gonna cut it. She'll be able to. <laughs> oh, I, I forgot to measure it. <laughs> that was probably 20th. Wow. Look at that. I'm being Go for it. <laughs> to each his own. I, I forgot to measure that last one. I'm such an idiot. I think she was 20. Dude, it is on right now. Insane bite. You gotta go quick though. So it'll turn off. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm glad you got that thing in. So what what leader did you switch to? Same one. Oh wow. It wasn't the leader that snapped. It snapped. Oh, so you just retied the same yeah, kind of thing. This line's been on. God, this might be now early in the season. Oh. Put this on and take it. Almost 19. Wow. Which is so bad. Especially on another level. <laughs> it really hard. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh dear. It's just non-stop. It's non-stop, man. They're all big too. Yeah. I yeah, I'm fishing for like the trophy now. Maybe put a whole crab like with legs and everything. Easy keep it. Yeah. Man, they keep swallowing it. I did it comes down to it. Yeah. I cut the last one. Yeah. About six, sixteen and a half. Sixteen and a half. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna end up keeping this one because it's yeah. a, swallowed it and it's a male. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I'm afraid he swallowed it. I got the hook out, but I think he swallowed it. I'm just gonna keep him. Might as well. Let, it's better to keep the smaller ones, I think. A 
Dan's on another one. Oh, that's a good one. He's <laughs> it's, it's putting that rod to work. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Another big female. Wow, man. <laughs> wow. There really could be like a El Gigante in here. Females go. What up to you? Up to you. I like like big females. How big is it? Yeah, whatever. Good karma. Good karma. You might get another one in the shallow, you know? That almost hit the hook out of Disaster just like the whole thing. <laughs> So, yeah, they are good. I won't deny that. You like chicken almost too. Yeah, they, they have a meaty, like a meatiness. Sea bass approaches Yeah. Sea bass is like flakier and sweeter maybe. And sea blackfish is like, like you said, <laughs> it's like a meatier chickeny almost. No small ones here. There he goes. That last one was a whole crab shell off. Just reeling slow too to try to prevent the barotrauma or whatever that is. Because I have my limit. Oh, oh, they, <laughs> they always have like another run in them near the surface. You think they're done, but they're not. Oh, dude, that's a big male, big male. Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> wow. Oh! <laughs> 324 red, right? Wow. Oh. Oh. I think that's my biggest tog, man. I think that's my biggest one. Holy cow, this fish is so, yeah. It doesn't hurt their lip or a little bit. Is that eight? Eight? Yeah, eight. Hell yeah, bro. Dude, eight pounds. Gotta be at least 24 inches, I'd say. Oh my gosh, it's eight pounds, man. That's it. You just keep that with you for the time being. Okay. Oh, dude. It's just the power of this fish. I can't I can't describe it. It's like probably like a doormat flute kind of thing. Just so much more powerful. 22 and a half. Long. Not even that long. Yeah, he's like 22 and a half. Oh. <laughs> oh. What a bulldog, man. Yeah, it's a nice fish. All right, we'll let him go. Hopefully he's all right. He's a big fish. Dude, you are gonna get wrecked. Dan. Whoa! Oh! 
Oh no! Hold on. I'm sorry. Uh. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. I think it's way better. Oh. See ya, dude. <laughs> Ten o'clock. Also like touching eight on. Wow. See how yeah, see what the length is. Like this I got a twenty inch last week. This is like a completely different species. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, it's like twenty and a half. No, it's Was it twenty one and a half? Yeah, so I thought. That makes sense. These fish are just so fat, dude. That fish in the water, <laughs> <laughs> this one's not as big. Oh, he heard me. <laughs> yeah, that's also true. <laughs> nice female. <laughs> I mean, this is just unbelievable how many are down there. Like, this is like a sea bass feeding frenzy. Like exactly. Is that a whole crab? Yep, a whole crab. Definitely a keeper female. I don't want to jinx it, but I think that's that's the end of the wave. As they start getting smaller. Yeah. Because it's like a pinnacle, you know? It's like you catch a big a bigger one and then a bigger one and then a big one. And then the next one is yeah. Then the next one might be yeah. Then it's it's kind of it. Been in. I shouldn't even say that. That wasn't even a small one like that I caught. Yeah, it's pretty cool that that we caught like a male and a female at the same time, r roughly the same size. Oh, Dan's on again with a good one. <laughs> yeah. Got to capitalize on good days. Seventeen. All right. Yeah. Push the envelope. Push it. If your limit was open, would you cap that big one? It's just such old fish when they get that big. Yeah, unless it was like gonna die. But I don't know, I just... This on an onshore, onshore party boat. Yeah, that's also too, like... Those fish are like diamond, unless it dies. And they'll be, they'll be taken the next day. Yeah. Like, you know, here, this is kind of like a... See, that's why I didn't feel bad about that fluke I got on my top. It's like, if I didn't keep that fish, one of those draggers would have scooped them up. No question. It's true, they were right there. Oh man, they're getting a little bit harder now to catch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, on the way up, on the way up. What the heck? What? This has to be a sea bass. I had to be already 20 feet off the bottom. Oh, it's a, it's a blackfish, what the heck? Dude, it, how in the world? Dude, he hit it on the way up. That fired up, man. Wow. Probably an almost keeper. 
might get one more keeper here, but I don't think you're gonna get too many more. I think the bite is turning off. But even at the next spot, you never know too. There's yeah. So we have a lot more planned. Whoa. That's how you know the blackfish are shutting down though. The porgies are having a chance to actually get a get a bite. We don't have to stay here too much longer if you don't want. Wanna, Keep one more slot open, so let's, let's fill that. All right. We haven't tried squid yet too. We this is true. Happens, but let's keep, keep fishing hog until I get out there. Just okay. After you get those monsters, it's like nothing is the same. <laughs> It's a sea bass. Is it? Yeah? That would be nice. I want some sea bass. Nah, it's not a keeper. But yeah, you could tell the blackfish have turned off. Look, we're catching other fish now. Like, the, the blackfish are the, the rulers of the piece. Like, they own it. But they only decide, like, when they feel like biting. Come on, get him in. Yeah, that looks like a sea bass head shake. Oh, that's a good sea bass. That's a good sea bass. That's, that's my view for self for the day, and Peter's on it too, so I can think of no better way to chase that fish. <laughs> what do we got here? No, don't worry. No oh, sugar. 20 calories. The perfect curing for incredible day of cod fishing, bottom fishing in general. I think the last time I had Sanzo was toxic last year. What are you drinking today, Peter? Oh, I got a uh, food club lemon lime seltzer water. What would you rate that one? <laughs> like a six. A six. <laughs> Not your. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know what I'm expecting. I'll here. air cheers you on that. <laughs> cheers. Thanks for bringing the spotlight to be a completely different day without it. Mm -hmm. Could try, but be a challenge. But you're definitely selling it for me right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to be thinking hard about that this winter. Go the problem it. is, this one might be discontinued. People are saying that they, it, they discontinued it, the saltwater version at least. I'll try this side if you want it. Just more, be more comfortable. So I don't know, they're not making them for kayaks anymore or they're coming out with like a new model maybe next year, people are saying. So maybe. Any other option that you were researching? No, this is like really the only, this is really the only brand that makes him uh, small for a kayak. The hardest part is just installing the mount on your kayak. Ooh, that's a good one. Nice. Your patience paid off. Oh, that's a good one, dude. That's a big one. He ain't done fighting. But he's done. <laughs> he's oh done. man! Wow. This one isn't so obscenely big. No, but that's at least an 18. Yeah. Alright, now we now we can play around a bit. Hey Pete. What a day. We should get more sea bass when we get to the other spot. Well, that's a nice fish. Yeah, that's a good that's a good blackfish. Back on the big ones. They started biting again. Oh, dang. <laughs> oh, man. This is, this is a good fish. 
This is a good fish, man. Oh, man. Still not done. Oh, it's a giant. Oh, man, it's a big one. Oh. <laughs> wow. This is unreal. Dude. <laughs> oh, it's probably a 20 inch. 19, like 19 and a half. Heavy? Yeah. You got a lot of weight in there. It's a nice female. I'll let her go. She should be good. Like just insanity. Uh, not that nah, it's not that big. I think it's just medium sea bass. It's a little what time is it? Ten thirty. See where we're at, we're three visits this is ten forty five. Alright. We don't have any quality fish by that then we make a move. I've never been on a, a bite of this much quality before a cockfish. Yeah, me neither. So I just want to, until I'm certain they're gone. Yeah. Now I just switched to a metal jig. Plain? Yep, plain metal jig. This is peak current. This is like the fastest current of the day. Right now, 1030. Similar in the sense that like you would drop the crab and it would just be gone. Yeah. That was last year, like November 4th. That's where you ended. That's where you ended. Correct. We ended the day there. That's better. Nah, that's not a keeper. Got on it. No, not even. I figure the bigger ones should take it without... If they're there, there's this peak and trough kind of thing with these fish. Oh, maybe better. You got a sea bass too? I definitely didn't drink for like that entire hour that we were catching them good. <laughs> and I was thirsty. Yeah, it's fishing time, man. Yeah. You're drinking your own time. Exactly. It's fish o'clock right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, so that's where I'm gonna end this video. Uh, we definitely moved around after that crazy bite to some shallower stuff to try to find some sea bass. I, I had high hopes for some of the other spots that we were gonna try. Uh, but unfortunately, it really didn't pan out. We couldn't really get them to bite. You know, they would kind of get in frenzy mode, but there wasn't uh, any keepers. So, yeah, after that, we kind of went back to the deep part where we originated. Uh, but by that time, I had to get off the water. So definitely go check out Dan's video. Uh, you'll see he catches a couple more fish there. All right, guys, that's it. We're headed in. Absolutely incredible. 
blackfish uh, outing. Probably the best I've ever had, especially in terms of just like the speed at which we were catching quality fish. It's similar in other places where the big fish just all start biting at once, but these fish are just so much bigger. And uh, yeah, right after that big 22 and a half one that I released, got a little less, a little less. You can kind of feel the bites turning off, but definitely during the ramping up of the tide, like probably an hour before the peak movement. So that was really special. Really cool to get it with Dan too, you know, just catching fish, both of us, like at the same time. It's just pretty cool. Very happy we got the chance to do this. And the conditions definitely got really nice. But that's it. You know, the, the blackfish were on and pretty much everything else was just kind of hit or miss. Sea bass really wasn't thick. I think Dan got two keepers. Uh, last I checked. He's, he might fish a little bit longer. Uh, I didn't get any keepers. I only used crab. I didn't really do the squid thing. Uh, blackfish are all over. Shallow, deep, really anywhere. Water temps increase a lot. Now they're 63. So the surface temps changed from like 56 this morning to 63. Oh, yeah. That's also why you can't go by surface temps too much because they fluctuate a lot. But those are the temperatures that we can read, so that's what we got. All right, let me get in. Gotta get back. It's a great day. Awesome day. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.